a poultry farmer and you want to make profit from your production, are you thinking of the how best to rear your broilers and maximize your profit? And you're thinking of the best way to feed your broilers to get and achieve the best results? Watch this video. Hello, please stop wasting your feed. Many farmers are wasting feed in the name of feeding your poultry or livestock animals. This fact that your poultry or livestock animals consume feed does not mean they will convert the feed. The quantity of feed you feed you give them in a day does not correspond with the feed conversion ratio. What matters is the feed conversion ratio of that particular poultry. So if you're a poultry farmer and you have been feeding your poultry or livestock animals and they are not giving you, you that maximum results. You are into laying beds and you feed them with bags of feed on daily basis and they give you less value of eggs than the feed itself. It means you are on a high speed to pack your business. So what matters is the feed conversion ratio. You spend 5,000 Naira to buy feed. You spend 25,000 Naira to buy feed. You spend $500 to buy feed. And you are making less than what? Even the quantity of feed you have given. So you are not even making any profit at all. Most of the times, especially broiler farmers, most farmers don't even make profit. They don't even know what profit is all about. What they know is that the money comes to them in large volume. So they feel that they have made profit. They don't put all the necessary expenses into considerations. So they only gather a huge amount of money in their hands after sales. So they feel that they have made profit. No. When you check all your expenses against your income, that is when you are talking about profit. So even you, are, you as the farmer, you need to pay yourself also. So if you are not getting getting all this you're not giving out all this and you're not checking all this you're not keeping this proper record it means you are not doing the right thing so watch this video to the end i will advise you please make sure you don't skip any track the right time to feed your poultry best you know the right proportion of feed the time to change their feed please if you are giving them starter at four weeks you are doing the wrong thing if you are giving the starter at six weeks you are doing the wrong thing that feed conversion ratio will not be there they will eat the feed properly but it will not give them what's supposed what's supposed to give them just like you now at the age of 15 they are still using feeding button to give you milk or give you tea i don't know how you feel that is how it is applicable to livestock also no matter how you that mistake you make in short will affect your entire and overall profit in that particular business. So that's why I advise you to make sure you watch this video till the end. If by now you are not subscribed to this channel, please do the right thing. This particular topic is to how to reduce the cost of feeding your broiler, best broiler feeding tips to make profit, and all that poultry best. Please, you can apply it to all that poultry best. I just narrowed it to broiler alone. Maximize profit by cutting broiler feeding cost. Top tips to succeed. Cheapest way to feed broilers and other poultry bears and make increase in profit margin. Broiler feeding, broiler farming, best practices, how to reduce feeding costs with smart tips. The, or if you are searching for all this in any of the platform at all, this is the right place. This is the particular content you need to watch. So broiler farming profit secret, reduce feeding costs with very smart tips. You are also right there. So, feeding broilers are the most significant factor in flinting profitability in broiler farming and poultry in general. As a broiler farmer and as broilers also, they are specifically bred for rapid growth and meat production. They require high quality feed, rich in nutrients, to reach market weight very fast and efficiently. So, if you are not giving that, that right diet, that nutritional value they need at that particular time, 
they will happily convert that feed into meat for you. However, the rising costs of commercial feed has made it increasingly difficult to broiler farmers to maintain profitability. One of my farms from Cardinal State told me that, do you know that after selling 100 bears, I find it difficult to make 10,000 Naira profit. I sh nearly shed tears to tell you how bad it has gone into broiler farming because they consume high. But when I came to realize that most farmers make mistakes, I have been to many farmers and I see chickens wasting feed on the floor. At the same time, they will mix it with the floor. And this feed, you are accounting for it as if their chicken have eaten them. Most of these things are the reasons why you are not making profit. Not only this, there are a lot of them. To succeed, farmers must adopt strategies that lower feed costs while ensuring broilers receive essential nutrients they need for growth. By optimizing feeding practices, using cost-effective feed ingredients and employing alternative feeding strategies, farmers can reduce feed expenses and maximize their profit margins. This particular topic, this, in this video, I will explore the best tips and strategies for reducing broiler feeding costs while maintaining profitability and productivity and at the same time enabling farmers to sustain high profit and increase competitive market. So if you're a poultry farmer, watch the whole step I'm going to guide you. Both how you brew them, how you feed them, the feeding particles, the feeding stages, and how you market them also. This is a complete content on broiler and poultry. Don't skip any track. Let's go there. Now, let me briefly tell you what broiler is all about so that that will reduce the number of questions I will receive on the comment section. Don't go away. Broiler beds, they are entirely different from other breeds of chickens. They are recent development in the history of poultry farming. They are bred specifically for rapid growth and high meat yield. They are not there for egg for you because the commercial broiler industry began in early 20th century when farmers and breeders started selecting chickens for threats such as fast growth, large size and tender meat. By the 1940s, Specialized broiler breads were developed to meet the growing demand for poultry meat in the United States and Europe. So the introduction of scientific breeding techniques coupled with improvement in nutrition and housing led to the rapid expansion of broiler industry. Today, broilers are a major source of protein globally with billions of broiler beds raised annually to meet the demand for chicken meat in the world. Now, what are the effects of poor feeding pattern in broiler chicken and other poultry and livestock animals? Poor feeding pattern have detrimental effect on the growth, health and productivity of poultry and livestock. In broiler farming, improper feeding can lead to slow rate, slow growth, slow stature, slow weight, poor feed conversion ratio, and reduced body weight, making it difficult to achieve their market target within the specified period of time. Inadequate or inconsistent feeding can also lead to weakening the immune system of animals, making them more susceptible to diseases, infections, and high mortality rates, which also drop your profit. Furthermore, poor nutrition may result in reduced egg production in laying bears or even other animals or impaired reproductive performance in livestock, which can further impact overall farm profitability. To avoid this issue as a farmer, please make sure you implement effective feeding strategies that meet the nutritional need of that animal at every stage of their growth. Most especially, this is our feathered white bird that we are discussing here called broilers. Now, let me give you 10 effects of using wrong feed and feeding patterns 
in poultry and livestock in general. One, slow growth rate, lower body weight, poor feed conversion ratio, weakened immune system, increase and susceptibility to diseases, higher mortality rate and poor meat quality, reduced egg production, stunted development in young animals and poor reproductive performance. All these you will experience when you are using the wrong feed, the wrong feeding pattern, the wrong feed particles, the wrong ingredients, the wrong timing, and everything. If everything is wrong, you are going, going you are ending wrongly also. Now, steps to correct feeding pattern for poultry and livestock. Make sure you evaluate current feeding practices. Assess the existing feed composition and feeding schedule to identify inefficiencies or nutritional gaps. Use high quality feed. Always make use of high quality feed for your poultry and livestock. Ensure the feed is nutritionally balanced and appropriate for the specific growth stage of the animals. Adjust feed ratio, modify their feed quantities to match the animal's age. Nutritional requirement based on their growth stage, size, and activity level. Incorporate alternative ingredients. Use cost-effective and local available feed alternatives, such as fermented agricultural byproducts without compromising nutrition. Make use of probiotics or additional extracts or natural plants. Make sure you inculcate other waste that will help you to reduce cost, though you don't need to reduce quality of the feed. Implement regular feeding schedule. Don't feed them anytime you like, anytime you want. There are animals, anytime they will not beat me when I go there. No. Establish and maintain consistent feeding timing to promote better digestion and nutrient assumption. Once that time of their feeding reaches, their system is waiting for that food. And if they don't get it, you give it them at the wrong time, it will affect the feed digestion and feed conversion. Monitor animals' health and growth. Regularly check their weight, health, and overall performance of the animals or the poultry to ensure that they are receiving adequate nutrition at their age. Ensure proper water supply. Provide fresh, clean water consistently to aid digestion and overall well-being. Let me tell you one thing. Poultry and livestock animals, they don't joke with water. Once that time reaches, they have food and there's no water, they will leave the food for you. And once they don't eat the food, there's no way they can digest what they have not eaten. And if there's no food, there's no way they can convert what they have not digested. So this is a simple logic. So make sure there is water for them. As you're giving them food, make sure the water is already there for them also. Provide adequate spacing and ventilation to prevent overcrowding and at the same time ensure good air circulation to reduce stress and promote healthy eating patterns. All this you need to follow to make sure that you are getting the best and you are giving them the best. Now watch this video from beginning to the end. Don't go away after this break. Let's go into the practical aspects of this particular content. How to feed broiler. The best tips to feed your broiler to get maximum results. The best tips to feed your broiler to get maximum profit. Let's go there after this break. If by now you are not subscribed, please do that as we come back. We continue. Now, Let's go into broiler feeding pattern. Tips for rearing poultry. Feeding broilers. When the broilers are hatched, you start with brooding stage. After the arrival of the brother in your poultry house, you prepare their brooding materials. Lay ordinary papers on the floor to make sure that they are well comfortable. During this stage, you provide enough food, provide enough water, provide enough heat for them, and make sure that they have 
very good heat and humidity level. They should have good cross ventilation to make sure that the poultry or the brooding room does not build ammonia which can cause or generate fungi and parasites that will affect them at the early stage of their lives. During this period, as you provide heat and good temperature, water and good food, they will start growing stage by stage. During their growth phase, the first three days of their life, they will not have feathers. And you need to always drop the temperature after every three days. You start with temperature of 37 degrees centigrade. Between 37 to 38 degrees is okay for them at the first stage of their life. After three days, you drop it to 35 degrees centigrade. And this particular heat is enough to take care of them before they start developing their own feathers. Their own feathers will help them to keep their body warm. What you are doing is to provide the environment to look as if they are with their own parents. Right now, you make sure you have very good deep floor. The deep floor will give them very good conducive environment for them to move around, exercise, sleep at the time they want to sleep, rest at the time they want to rest. A good floor will also help them to prevent from spraddle leg. If the floor is not enough, it will be slippery. You have seen this particular stage, we have changed the papers. Right now, what we have here is rice bran on the floor. Either you use the rice bran, wheat or fowl, or use wood shavings or wood peelings. Any of these materials is good for them. But as starter and as during this stage they are, you don't need wood shavings. You can use rice bran, which is very comfortable for them. But make sure they have their good food, make sure they have heat, and make sure they have water always. You can see that the environment is very clean, and you can as well see that everywhere is lighted up. The provision of this light is almost 24 hours to make sure that they get the right nutritional value they need that will help them to start developing on time. Any development will at the same time help them to avoid early catching of infections or diseases. The quality of feed, the feed pellet, the spacing of the drinkers and others will be discussed in this particular video. That's why it is very necessary that you make sure you continue watching. Now you can see that there is light here. The well-fed broiler chicks are already resting because they have eaten enough and they have taken enough water. You can see the height of the drinkers right now. The height at the beginning, the day one, is not the same height right now. You always make sure you lift the drinkers and the feeders to their shoulder level. If you don't do this, you are not doing the right thing. It means they will not be able to consume the quantity of feed they need to consume to give them the right nutrient at their age. So make sure that this is properly done. Now watch the spacing. You can see that they have a very good space and there is a very good ventilation. With that ventilation, the floor will be wet. And once the floor is wet, it is easier for them to contact. You can see they have grown to the next stage. This is the third week. You can see right now they have developed enough feathers and they cannot take care of themselves. You don't need to provide heat for them unless it is during the wait period. Right now they have gone to the next stage. Now, feeding broilers. Feeding schedule, quantity of feed they need, spacing of feeders, replacing feeders and when to change their food is what we are going to discuss in this particular section. We are in feeding broilers right now. Broilers will consume starter feed for the first two weeks of life. They will consume grow-off feed for the first three weeks of life and finish out feed for the rest six weeks of the life till slaughter. 
right now based on this feeding schedule starter feed they will consume 1 kg per each bed grower feed they will consume 1.5 kg while they will consume 1.5 kg of finished now for the starter feeds one bed will consume 0 0.167 kg in one week then 0 0.375 kg in two weeks then for the starter feed 100 beds multiplied by 0 0.17 kg will give you 16.7 kg while 100 beds times 0 0.375 kg will give you 7.5 kg in two weeks or we give you 54.2 kg in total this is what they will consume in first two weeks of life with starter feed then this will take us to the another stage of their growers feed growers feed will help them to get enough height and it also help them to minimize weight too much of fat they will consume 0 0.65 kg in three weeks 0 0.545 kg in four weeks then 1.215 kg in five weeks of growers feed 100 bears will consume 0 0.65 kg which will give us 65 kg for 100 bears in three weeks then 100 bears multiplied by 0 0.65 945 will give us 94.5 kg in four weeks and 100 best multiplied by 1.215 kg will give us 121.5 kg in five weeks this will give us a total of 281 kg then for the finisher feed one bed will consume in six weeks 1.434 kg in six weeks this is a total of feed consumption of finisher feed then 100 bears will give us 1.434 kg multiplied by 100 that will give us 143.4 kg that will give us in six weeks a total of 143.4 kg at the end of six weeks you will get an average weight of 2.5 kg of the weight of your broilers you can see that the feed efficiency here is very good it is also good and also right that you can get more than this depending on your biosecurity the quality of the feed your feeding schedule your feeding timing and everything if everything is all right you can get better results than this but this is average result you can get within these six weeks of their lives Water is very good for feed confection and feed digestion. Water intake. One chick will need 2 gram of water if they consume 1 kg of feed. But for the feeding trough, recommended feeder space should be 5 cm per bed minimum. And white feeder span should be 30 for each 50 beds. And this should be used for about 33 cm in diameters. Each two of 25 should serve up to 45 beds. Now, changing of their feed. Starter feed should be used within the first two weeks of life. After the first two weeks of life, you go to the grower's feed. You should feed them grower between two weeks to five weeks and change to finisher's feed. You continue giving them finisher feed until slaughter period until you take your chicks to the market remember that this feeding schedule is recommended for those that want to rear their broiler up to eight weeks now this is the stage of the broilers give them the right feed at the right time change from their chick mash or starter mash to pellets. Make sure that each of the chickens eat the appropriate feed needed at their age. Don't use big pellets for younger birds. As they are growing, you should change their feed. It is also good that each 
of the birds, irrespective of their age, can eat mash. But once you are using pellets, it means that you should use the pellet that is required for that particular age of the birds. Feeding broiler at the right time is very important for them to get the maximum result. Please make sure you put all the tips I have given you in this detailed video in place for you to achieve the best you can. Thank you for watching this video to this extent. Make sure this video reach other farmers. Reducing the cost of feeding broilers is critical to improving profitability in poultry farming. By adopting cost-effective feed practices such as using alternative ingredients, optimizing feed schedules, and ensuring proper nutrition, farmers can significantly lower their expenses without sacrificing the health of or the growth of their livestock animals. Poor feeding practices can lead to a host of problems including reduced growth, high mortality rates, and compromised productivity all of which have a direct impact on farm profitability. However, by evaluating and improving feeding strategies, farmers can achieve better performance from their broilers and livestock, increase productivity, and ultimately boost profit margins. Emphasizing proper feeding techniques is the key to sustaining long-term success in the poultry and livestock farming industry. Please, make sure you share this video. If you are not subscribed, make sure you subscribe before the end of this video. Share this video to reach more farmers, please. This is the only way you can contribute significantly to the growth of this particular family. Thank you once again for watching this video to this level. Until I come your way with another interesting topic loading very soon. Please don't go far. Bye for now.